Now, there are going to be four people riding bicycles around town. So about the amazing race here, we got the idea from the regular amazing race that we always do on TV. What we did was basically we like got students to sign up and give them tasks that they had to perform. For example, like we sent some students to some restaurant to eat a really spicy burger. We sent some people to the pool to go and get something. Somebody jumped in with their. <laughs> with their clothes and everything. It was actually really fun and that was the whole point of it. <laughs> That's what we do at CAP. We try to come up with events that are for the students, events that students will actually find interesting. Now it's, it's really hard to please everybody, definitely. But the turnout we get from every event is also nice. So for the amazing race, the grand prize was 100,000 naira. We had teams of two people running around campus doing different things. I mean, it was actually it was, it was actually a really nice event considering the whole okay security issue on campus, this and that. We actually had to go out of campus to do different things. I had an opportunity while I was here to meet with a group of students. And one of the things that I was able to discern in that meeting was that there was no life outside of the classroom for students here. That literally they used to sit out on the curbs and just do crazy stuff at night. There were no planned activities for them, nothing to attract them or engage them um, with each other and or with the university outside of their classes. Um, a student activities program is really in, in designed to engage students in the mainstream of the campus community um, and to uh, provide them with extracurricular activities, programs, and services that will in fact develop them in many ways because the development of students during the time that they're enrolled in college is not just the responsibility of the academic unit. Um, the overall development of students uh, involves a lot of the things that they will be involved in once they are outside of the classroom. Because if you think about it, they spend probably about 60% of their time outside of class. The job of the Office of Student Activities and Involvement is to make sure every student on campus has an entire and a whole university experience. Um, being in AUN or being at any university, it's not just about going to class or studying or meeting new people, but it's also about how you develop yourself socially, uh, mentally, spiritually, even financially here and our office addresses all of those things at one point. OSI and CAB organize events that, the type of events that you see on television. Um, it can go from parties, team parties, to concerts, to comedy shows, to leadership workshops, to trips, to things that will blow your mind. Uh, for example, the Amazing Race. It's not hard, just <laughs> The Campus Activities Board is a programming body for events on campus that is run and managed by students. I am the president of the Campus Activities Board currently. We've done many events, as in their posters, 
all over the world. You can see our Friday the 13th events. We've done Silent Wave, we've done Welcome Back Weekend, we've done concerts. We always do concerts. We always have concerts every semester. This semester, we'll probably have fouls coming. I mean, Sweet Boys are station. <laughs> And then we try to program them in such a way that okay, it's it it is useful to all the students. It, it brings students together, social interaction, communication between students, fun most especially, the vibe, turn up parties, whatever we could do, just to keep students entertained. That's 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 basically our work on campus as the campus activities board. The biggest and most popular events on campus, the first one would definitely have to be graduation week. Uh, we call it senior week. The time where um, graduating seniors look forward to, uh, they have spent four years, some of them five years, some of them six years. Who knows, maybe they are here for other, other reasons, but uh, yeah, that is one of the biggest weeks and events on campus. The second one I would say is definitely homecoming, um, which is the time every student looks forward to and if, if students have not attended it before, they, they should be excited about it because it's a week full of packed events that we would not do in a regular semester. Traditionally, homecoming is about alumni coming back to their alma mater to celebrate progress, to reminisce on old times, to meet up with old friends, and um, just to have a feel of, of what it, it, is, it was like when they were here. Um, so the time for them to just come, come back, celebrate with the university, try to give back as much as possible. Obviously, we're a young university, so we're still trying to get as many alums that can come back for homecoming as much as possible but um, with every year that passes by more and more alumni come back so that's the first thing about homecoming it's more about alumni than students the second thing is it gives students um, something to look forward to when they become alumni they can also come back and experience uh, things like that because in the real world you don't really have time for yourself to enjoy yourself for parties for concerts for comedy shows except you um, make that time um, intentionally um, the type of events that go on during homecoming are obviously we have the kickoff um, it can range from a bonfire to fireworks to 
Uh, just a barbecue, basically. So it's just like, okay, homecoming is here. This is how we're starting it. My most memorable event on campus was two, the semester before last. We had this haunted house thingy. It was by cab and it was, it was crazy. It was crazy fun. You know, people find themselves working in teams when you go out in the real world, okay? Or functioning in teams uh, of some sort, okay? And so you pick up some of those skills as you, again, it's all a developmental process. This whole engagement, and life outside of the classroom is, is intentional. It's intentionally designed to prepare young people for some of the challenges and things that they're going to, skills they're going to need to have when they go out in the real world. It's not always about their major, although academics is the primary reason that students come to a university. But your overall, your holistic development becomes really important to a university. And so athletics, you know, opportunities to participate in athletics, campus activities, intramurals, all of those kinds of things help build some of the same skills that students are gonna need when they leave the university and go out and, 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 and function in society.